to kind of play this being uh, the teaching you guys this year. And really, like from the start, you know, you've been brilliant. Such kind of talent in here. It's, it's amazing, and you're going to do absolutely brilliantly in, in the year. I'm going to miss you all later on. Hopefully, some of you will do the mission it next year. Okay. Um, I'll read my poem out to you that um, I've written and then I'll give you a copy. There's, there's a picture of you guys in the back. Well, it really has been an eventful year, but now the end is drawing near. For English in H10, for 11 B1, where I want some Rodolfo's song. <laughs> up with the lit course alterations, but some of your mums had mild palpitations. <laughs> you thought I'd got the name of that baby of mine, who I know I went on about a lot of the time. Though I hope when they grow up, when he grows up, they end up like you. Creative, smart kiddies who always will do their best and laugh at the rest. The school, when you look back, was a weird little test. But you guys all passed because you smiled and were cheerful. Even when I ranted and gave you a meal, which wasn't very often. There's many tales in people too who have made me laugh amongst this crew. I think you're all top notch kids, and I'll try <coughs> now to share a bit of how much fun I've had when teaching, uh, and how I hope you'll go on reaching for books to read in years to come, because then I know my work's been done. There's Onya and Eniko, two lovely girls, whose names took me, sorry, a while to unfurl. Anya, no Onya. Eniko, no sir, Eniko. Because they're cool names though. There's Jack who asked questions that made us all think. <laughs> His handwriting, wow, it was quite on the blink. Mm. Beth who scored 40 in her Shakespeare CA, but no sir, I disagree, she quite liked to say. <laughs> uh, Adam N, whose speech had me impressed in a whirl, and he secretly loved I bet being sat by the girls. <laughs> oh no, I lose attendance. Had me all twitching but redeemed it by sharing my love of Tim Meachin. <laughs> Jasmine, whose homework is sometimes a laugh, but I'm sorry for the poo joke, Jasmine Giraffe. <laughs> There's Kate, who I don't think raised her hand ever, but she spoke aloud questions that will make her remembered. Maya, with her talent for poems and posters, and love for the subject, the exam, she just post them. Libby, who always got A stars in her tests, her brain works so quickly, one of the best. Like Frankie, whose models I used to inspire, but on a recent revision session, she seemed rather tired. You lot didn't see all this, but guess what she called the very first ghost? I could believe it hardly. The veggie man himself, sir, but uh, Bob Marley! <laughs> <laughs> Look to your right, this messes Hamlet on board, who Isha would be in hysterics at and never get bored, especially with lines like Eddie Swipeboard. <laughs> there is some songs about me on the Christmas Carol coach. I felt rather proud until the first songs made me choke. <laughs> I wrote a poem about Leo, where it was really fantastic. And Sam, did you know? He's quite cheap and tastic. <laughs> <laughs> With Dan, James, and Owen, who bet against Villa and laugh when I tell them Ben Teke is the killer, striker, and I'm psyched that I taught Nicole and Katie and Katie to work their get down. And Josh, who looked puzzled. And Dave's thoughtful frown. <laughs> Freya, so bubbly and keen to do well. Always said hello, sir. He smiled and was swell. Oh. Oh. Of course, not forgetting Adam El Neri, <laughs> whose lack of much homework got me quite leery. <laughs> On one test, he scored an immortal grey view, but he's witty and clever, and I think I've met him here too. <laughs> There's Esme, she got nearest to the baby name, you see. With links to the band Phoenix and Young Colony. She told me to read The Perks of a Wallflower, and I enjoyed it, though the film made me quite sound. <laughs> Sophie laughed and read parts of the play. Quiet Nikki and Heidi, their lit exams were great. Bright Natalie, fighting Fletcher. When you're gone, I'll be sad. At times, I felt like a super proud dad. Although at times it was quite tough, I really hope you enjoyed some stuff. Like Lenny and Eddie and old Mr. Scrooge. Who, when he started to laugh, it was almost quite rude. <laughs> For you all, I wish you all the best, and hope this summer you'll get some rest. Before your top results come out, in English when you'll scream and shout. Finally, I'll say, hoodies on. Ladies and gentlemen, year 11 is good.